Hello everybody out there on YouTube. This video is called Who Dat? Now, the other day I did a series of videos with Sexy Sci-Fly from YouTube. She happened to be in the Bay Area and we did some videos. And hopefully when she gets home from her vacation, she'll be up, able to upload the videos. Um, when you communicate with people on YouTube, there are real people out there. Some people mislead you to believe they're one person or another and the series of videos that me and her did were strictly to prove that there are real people on YouTube and um, she was hoping that more people in California came along to to do the videos because there can't be four people from the Bay Area and they'd be the only people on YouTube that'd be stupid it'd be an illogical to even conceive that it just doesn't make any sense so um she got the people who she could get together in, in the interview and the interviews was pretty good the ones I saw the thing is when you're doing YouTube we're creating a whole new medium you know when we were growing up there was UHF VHF I got to see cable I got to see there are certain events through through life that we got to witness you know um, I remember the first color TVs that we had were bigger than shit but they were big I remember the car phone and then the cell phone these are inventions that have enhanced human life now starting February 19th all the TV signals will be digital so a lot of people won't be able to watch regular TV. A lot of people don't have cable. But a lot of these cities are throwing up free Wi-Fi. What does that mean? That means through the air, the Internet will be beamed. And it will be free. In theory. So the new free TV will most likely be YouTube. Get your feet in. Dig in. Because people will only have us to watch. So our programming has to be informative. We must start teaching people because this is all they're going to have. They'll be able to watch movies off the internet. But they're going to watch us. They're going to watch the people of YouTube regardless of what color, what race, what size, what height. They're going to watch YouTube regardless because it's going to be free. Or will they start charging? Will they start charging for those to watch YouTube? You know, this to me is the new UHF. And right now, while we have a chance to make a difference, we should. Because if you build your name now, you won't have to see if someone can say it later. You won't have to struggle and strain to see where your niche is. Everybody needs a place to go to, and a lot of people have gone to YouTube. The content on regular television is wacky, you know. You get a bunch of your friends in the house. Is it like friends? Is your life like Seinfeld? You know. Is it like Will and Grace? Is it like JAG or CSI? People are tired of the fantastical, of the perfect friends that never argue and fight. You know, the group of people that are always together. That is bullshit. And then it's rush of reality, reality shows. You got Survivor. You got, you know, American Idol. The mole is back. You get a series of shows that people can relate to, but when you find out, they're not reality. YouTube is the only last place for reality. Even if I sit here and say, you know what? I got a brand new Mercedes Benz out there that runs on air. 
you want to see it. Then you call Mercedes Benz and ask him how many they got. Then you determine he can't afford one of those. He's lying. Then you try to discredit me. That's another thing I want to talk to you about on YouTube. How can people call some of us fakes and frauds? My name ain't Dr. Phil. Is he a real doctor? Does he have the ability to cure you? Can he operate? He got scripts to write your medicine? But people flock to him as if he is the authority on how people should be. Dr. Phil can only speak from his perspective and what he thinks is right. And if that gets you paid millions of dollars, then it seems like 75% of the people on YouTube should have millions of dollars. No. I guess what I want to say in this video is that everybody needs to be encouraged to do the right thing. Everybody. And if this is the only chance we got our last chance to tell people to do the right thing, Remember when we were kids, there was debates. You better do the right thing. You can do the right thing. I think you ought to do the right thing. But in reality, as we're just the world is full full of hypocrites. And um, I told uh, somebody about the family curse. My family's cursed. We're cursed with great knowledge and wisdom, but we can't use it to better ourselves. It's like Brewster's Millions. If you spend this $30 million in 30 days, you'll get $300 million. I'm going to spend that $30 million in 30 days to get all I can. That's how life is. We got to sell out to get it. And right now, in one of the worst courses in American history. We got gas prices killing people. Well, what, what I mean is like, how can the price of gas kill somebody? You pay $4.52 a gallon. You do this three months and you swear that somebody's trying to kill you. The price of gas is going up. The price of food is going up. The cost of living has gone up. The average wages are going down. You do the logical math and you tell me is that how it's supposed to work in an industrialized country that claims that they control the world? Or do you got a bunch of addicts needing a fix for oil? Talking shit like addicts do. Uh, I, I don't need the oil. Fuck that. Give me a couple quarts, man. When these motherfuckers leave, it's just a couple quarts of oil. Throw it in the car. We're closet junkies. Addicted to an oil served to us by those who we have already called our enemies. Where is the logic in that? We're over fighting war in the Middle East and buying oil from the same region that we're fighting. That is illogical. It's time we get off our ass and develop some new technology and fuck oil. It's time those of us who are on YouTube get together and network to try to put together some real, real protests that will make people think. I'm not saying boycott. I'm not saying don't go to work. I'm saying, if you got 100 million people to dial a certain phone number or certain a group of phone numbers to shut their systems down, just to shut them down, 
No calls going in, no calls going out. That might not mean nothing. But at least we will be heard not letting them speak. Email them. Thousands upon thousands of emails come in at the same time to shut them down. Something simple. You've been tuned.